For the Philadelphia Phillies, as well as Yankees outfielder Aaron Judge, 2022 was a season to remember. The Phillies made a miraculous run to the World Series, and the team has won back the affection of Philadelphians. Now, in a bid to have a better follow-up season, they are on the hunt for the MLB's hottest commodity. But does Aaron Judge make sense for the Phillies? Keep watching this video to find out more. What you need to know. This year's American League MVP will have to be none other than Aaron Judge. He was the best player in baseball this season as he helped the Yankees win 99 games and the American League East. Naturally, he will get a lot of interest from teams looking to sign him to a long-term contract, being that he is now a free agent. The 2022 season will go down in history for Judge. The American League record for the most home runs in a season was set by the slugger, who most famously blasted 62 of them this year. Roger Maris, a Yankee Yankees legend, who hit 61 in 1961, has now seen his record passed by Aaron. Judge was an all-star, silver slugger, and soon-to-be MVP award winner. Aaron continues to get honors, many of which are well-deserved. Judge had a .311 batting average, 1.111 on-base percentage plus slugging, 131 runs batted in, and 133 runs scored for the season. He demonstrated his talent as one of Major League's greatest players, earning him all the well-deserved interest. The Phillies' current situation. On their roster, the Phillies already have an excessive number of outfielders. It consists of Bryce Harper, Kyle Schwarber, Nick Castellanos, Brandon Marsh, and Matt Vierling. Nick Castellanos is the designated hitter, Kyle Schwarber is in left, Brandon Marsh is in the center, and Bryce Harper plays in right. Next year, Bryce Harper will play right field once more, while Harper's UCL injury, which prevented him from playing in the outfield for the majority of 2022, will probably require surgery. Many people automatically assumed that Aaron Judge would not have a position on the Phillies because Bryce was scheduled to play right field, which is Judge's position. Aaron Judge has some experience playing center field, just in case you didn't know. He is quite an exception. Even though a 6'7 slugging center fielder most definitely does not fit the stereotype. For the Yankees last season, he played center field in 78 games, more than any other position. Although his lightning quick arm would compensate for his lack of outfield speed, the Phillies will be looking to sign Judge for his batting skills and not necessarily for his defensive abilities. If Aaron had to play center field for this team, the Phillies defense would regress. In the years to come, his role will undoubtedly become that of a DH, especially as he ages. What are the odds of the Phillies landing Aaron and judge. The Phillies have plus 1,000 odds in the free agent market to sign Aaron Judge. Although it is unlikely that they will even approach Judge about a deal, the thought of Harper and Judge playing together will make any baseball fan drool. The Phillies must investigate every possibility this offseason. Dave Dombrowski has demonstrated his ability to assemble a successful team, and he will undoubtedly pursue the top free agents in this class. Even if the logistics don't work out, adding the American League's current MVP could be a great move as the Phillies attempt to return to the World Series. There will always be a chance that Aaron Judge could be a Philly, at least until he re-signs for the Yankees, even though that possibility is more fantasy than reality. Three Reasons Giants Must Sign Star Slugger The MLB offseason is upon us, and the stove is beginning to heat up. Of course, it should come as no surprise that Aaron Judge is the name garnering the most interest. This offseason, Aaron Judge is expected to be in high demand, and the San Francisco Giants are one team that appears to be a serious contender for his services. The Giants, who won the most games in the league with 107 victories the previous season, are coming off a middling 2022 campaign in which they finished with just an 81-81 record. San Francisco's 2022 season appears to have been a regressive one, but they also contributed to their own problems by missing the majority of of the offseason before. The Giants seem prepared to make a significant splash in free agency and have identified Judge as their top target. So this offseason won't be the same old story. Here are three reasons San Francisco must sign Judge in free agency this offseason, as they seem ready to make a major push for him. Number one, the Giants need to sign a star player this offseason, and they have plenty of money to do so. You need to have a few things before you can pursue Judge, but money is the 
first and most crucial one. Given the record-breaking season he just had with the New York Yankees, Judge is definitely going to demand a huge contract. Making a pitch for Judge is pointless if you lack the funds necessary to sign him. The Giants' ability to spend money this offseason will help them in their effort to sign Judge, which is good news for them. Carlos Rodon signing to the Giants' starting rotation was their biggest offseason move, and he is already off the books after choosing to opt out of his contract after just one season. Early on, the Giants made it clear that they would not spare any expense for Judge's services this offseason, and given how much he might be set to earn, that might be a risky move, but the Giants could really make Judge an offer he can't refuse. If they want Judge that bad, they have the money to make something like that happen. The question will now be if Judge wants to play for the Giants or not. Number 2. The Giants Need More Outfield Help Signing Judge would make a lot of sense for the Giants, despite the fact that he'll attract a huge fee. And even though he'll cost a lot, the fact still remains that the Giants have a legitimate need for Judge's services this offseason. The San Francisco Giants outfield wasn't great last season, and they could seriously benefit from adding Judge to that department. The Giants outfield this season consisted primarily of Jock Peterson, Mike Yastrzemski, Austin Slater, and Luis Gonzalez. Of that group, Peterson was the most productive, but he's a free agent as well. And even though San Francisco has extended an offer to him, that doesn't mean he will return. If he doesn't, the Giants outfield will truly be a mess. Judge is versatile enough to play all three outfield positions for the Giants if he were to sign with them. Given their desperate need for help in that position and the fact that San Francisco has four outfielders from last season, it makes little sense for them to think twice about signing Aaron Judge. Number 3. The Giants Need to Strengthen Their Starting Lineup The Giants' demand for Judge is primarily driven by their need for additional power in their starting lineup. The only Giants player to hit 20 or more home runs last year was Peterson, who may not return for next season's campaign. San Francisco's lineup has a few more solid, complementing hitters, but they lack a true slugger to help guide the squad. There is currently no better power-hitting alternative in the league, much less one who is open to being signed in free agency, given that Judge just shattered the American League home run record in 2022. The Giants may improve their lineup by adding a few different players, or they could simply sign Judge and have the issue resolved right away. The Giants have what it takes to make a serious run for Judge in free agency this year, though it will probably take a lot to tempt him away from the Yankees. For these three reasons, San Francisco must seize the opportunity and position themselves to sign Aaron Judge this summer. Yankees Hal Steinbrenner sends big baller message to Aaron Judge amid free agency. This offseason, the New York Yankees are focused solely on re-signing Aaron Judge. Hal Steinbrenner, president of the Yankees, shared the message he had for Judge before free agency, knowing that a hefty contract extension was in the works. Steinbrenner has boldly stated that the Yankees would be able to accommodate Judge's hefty paycheck while still making other big offseason acquisitions. Steinbrenner said, and I quote, We have enough to make your contract happen and still have money to make other things happen too. The Yankees provided evidence of their claims by re-signing Anthony Rizzo to a two-year, $34 million contract. The team's chances of getting Judge back may also be improved by keeping the seasoned first baseman and close friend of Judge in the Bronx. There is still work to be done, but the early signs suggest that the Yankees will go to any length to keep Judge and surround him with a team that is capable of contending. So what do you think? Will Aaron Judge eventually sign for the Phillies, or will the Yankees retain his services? Let us know in the comment section. And if you enjoyed watching this video, kindly give it a like and share so your friends can watch it too. One more thing, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and punch the notification bell to keep getting more interesting content like this. See you next time.